Welcome back guys. I hope all of you will be fine. So this is question 3.35 of chapter 3 and the statement of it is suppose it is known from large amounts of historical data that x the number of cars that arrive at a specific intersection during a 20 second time period is characterized by the following discrete probability function which is given by f of x okay and this formula which is a very well known probability distribution function which we will discuss in our upcoming videos okay so that is basically characterized by this formula and on the basis of it we have to solve two parts of this questions which are a and b okay so in part a of it find the probability that in a specific 20 second time period more than eight cars arrive at the intersection okay so this is very interesting part of this question in which we have to see that what is the probability that more than eight cars arrive at the intersection so what is mean by more than eight cars it can be 9 10 11 12 100 and so on as well so what do i have to find out i want to find out the probability that the number of cars are greater than eight okay so this is what this is part a and how can we do it this can you can very easily see that it can be a data which cannot be counted okay innumerable data accounts we will have because more than eight means all the data points which are greater than eight are more than eight so in order to limit ourselves within this range i can use another trick here and that is a trick which is there we have one minus probability that x is less than or equal to 8 okay so how can i find it out in the context of the probability we have known that the total or the overall probability that x is less than or equal to 8 plus the probability that x is greater than 8 this is the overall probabilities and according to the probability theorems it must be equal to 1 okay so the summation of all the probabilities must give us 1 and from it we can very clearly get this formula okay now solving the same probability function and the same part of our question what we can do here the probability that x is less than or equal to 8 we can find it out by 1 minus the probability that the number of cars are zero okay plus the probability that the number of cars we have are equal to one plus the probability that the number of cars we have equal to two and we will add them together until and unless we have the probability that x is equal to eight okay so that is what we will have here in order to counter it in the context of the mathematics what i can do here is that if the probability that x is greater than 8 i can use the summation or the sigma function in which this summation in which x is equal to 0 up to 8 okay and here we will have this probability that x is equal to the smaller x okay so we can use this formula now we have this formula for this p of x and that is given here in this uh, form so now writing it here what i will get i will have here 1 minus x equal to 0 up to 8 okay and writing this formula because here luckily we have the same variable which we have here so we will have here exponential of minus 6 and here 6 this power x divided by x factorial okay so now let me open the braces here and let me do it here as well so here doing it what i will get 1 minus this exponential minus 6 is a constant value so leaving it outside this and here let me have it here from 0 6 raised power 0 divided by 0 factorial plus 6 1 divided by 1 factorial okay plus 6 square divided by 2 factorial plus 6 cube divided by 3 factorial okay unless and until we will add them together up to 8 because this is x is 
let x is equal to 8 and these are values from 0 to 8 so here i will have 8 factorial okay so this is what we have so now finding them all together and then subtracting it from 1 what i will get so i will get here 0 0.1528 okay and that is basically the answer of part a of my question okay so that is the solution of part a now in order to proceed we have to see that find the probability that only two cars arrive okay so that is part b and we have to find the probability that x is equal to 2 okay only two cars arrive and we can very clearly see that let me move up forward somehow we can very clearly see here that this is the single occasion here where x is equal to 2 and this is a single case in order to counter it out what we can do we can use the same formula here in which the value of x is now 2 okay so now putting values here this would be minus 6 and 6 with the power of this x which is 2 so this is 6 square divided by x factorial which is 2 factorial okay so now finding it out what i will get here we will get 0 0.0446 okay and that is what that is basically the answer of part b of my question okay so that's it for today in which we have seen the solution of the questions like the number of cars following through a certain point in a certain limit of time okay so these type of problems are usually solved by the poisson probability distribution which we will discuss in our upcoming video so till then take care of yourself if you have any question you can ask me in the comment box see you soon